Hi everyone, this is Heidi and this week we are talking about pollination and we're going to talk this week about the, the pollination that the insects, many different types of insects help with. So this is, um, these are some honey beehives over my shoulder. I'm up at Lily Springs Farm where I've been working this season and these bees are very, very busy. You can see them coming in and out of the bottom of their hive here. Um, they're very busy this time of year. It's the end of the summer and they are gathering up all the nectar from um, as many of the, the last blooming plants of the year as they can uh, and they use that nectar to make honey, of course. So. Um, so pollination uh, is this process that the, the flowers and the bees all have kind of evolved together and they work together to, to help each other. Um, so in the last lesson when we talked about flowers and the different parts of the flower, um, we talked about the, the pollen and the, the different parts that are inside, right? So like these honeybees are flying around to all the different flowers and they are they're brushing past the pollen to drink the nectar that's on the inside and they carry that pollen um, to another flower nearby and that's what when the pollen touches the the female part of the next flower that's what starts the process of creating a seed so that those flowers can reproduce and in exchange of course the the bees get the nectar to um, to make honey so that they can survive the winter and feed their young and feed the queen and that kind of thing. Um, so it's not just honeybees that are pollinators. Um, there's all sorts of different insects that help with pollination. And you might have heard about um, about some of the trouble with with pollination in in that the um, the bees and the other insects are losing their habitat and a lot of them are dying and they're um, you know a lot of people mow their lawn so that it's perfectly green and there's no there's no clover blooming in it or um, or farmers that spray different chemicals um, to kill what they would call bad bugs but it, it also harms all the bugs and and so the we're losing a lot of our pollinators and as humans you know we humans actually really depend on pollination for a, a large portion of the food that we eat so this is something that um, you know that we can help with and we can help provide some habitat by growing some flowers um, in our gardens and maybe maybe not mowing all the way to the edge but letting some clover grow or some wildflowers grow on the edge of our yards um, or we can support local beekeepers uh, by buying local honey um, there's all sorts of things we can do and, and I've actually got a project below to create an actual little home for not honeybees but mason bees. So, um, so yeah, I thought, I thought, uh, thought we could do a little exploring this, this week and see what pollinators are in our own neighborhood. Um, so I look forward to hearing how it goes. Have fun!